A real pleasure to welcome Ray Lee, the CEO of the company Upfront, to the show this week. So, Ray, uh, the company has received quite a bit of press and attention in the last couple of days due to the Dead Mouse iOS app, which expands the ecosystem of his subscription service uh, from uh, the website to mobile. So, uh, Dead Mouse's subscription has actually been live for a few months uh, since December, and uh, you were pow- powering the web experience as well. So, tell us a little bit more about Upfront and uh, how you came to work with Dead Mouse. Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for um, inviting me on this program. Have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so we, uh, Upfront is a, um, a technology company that provides a subscription-based uh, content distribution service for artists, musicians, celebrities, and, um, and also other types of um, uh, influencers. And we, we do this both on web and mobile. Um, and we do this in a way that is for that's privately branded for artists like Dead Mouse, as well as uh, we provide a community for other artists that um, could also join the Upfront network. Um, we launched in May of, tw- of 2013, and um, we launched with uh, several uh, kind of known artists such as uh, Deepak Chopra, Maxwell, uh, Hillsong United, which is a very popular Christian rock band. Um, and then we did uh, launch Dead Mouse, as you mentioned in uh, December of 2013. Great. And, and so what was he looking for a solution uh, to a problem that he had in terms of trying to monetize <clears throat> the families and providing them something extra? Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, Dead Mouse, uh, Joel Zimmerman, uh, wanted to uh, create an experience that was more intimate, more private, that uh, he wanted to share some of those experiences with. And he felt that those other social networks, which are great for the whole world to see and the world to listen to, um, they didn't necessarily serve that purpose. They didn't allow him to really go intimately involved and uh, share things that he would normally he wouldn't normally sh- share with the world. Um, so he really wanted to create a private community just dedicated for his uh, most loyal fan base. That's great. And so uh, Upfront, uh, of course, uh, you have a standalone app, uh, which is called Upfront, that people can check out with a number of <laughs> subscriptions that are available there from uh, Robbie Williams uh, to <clears throat> even actors like uh, Dylan McDermott, for example. Uh, and, but was this your first uh, standalone uh, app subscription app or had you done anything before? <clears throat> no, uh, Dead Mouse was our first uh, uh, white label subscription app. Um, and, you know, for, for someone uh, like Dead Mouse, um, we felt that we wanted to create his own community and uh, his own dedicated community. So uh, for, for Dead Mouse, we did uh, develop the website, as you mentioned, which is uh, live.deadmouse.com back in December. And then we released the, uh, the iPhone app, uh, which was released on Thursday. And then we are going to release an Android version on May 29th. Um, and it is, again, designed for um, his, real, his real super fans, his loyalists, people that really want to share uh, they're like-minded um, EDM fans as well as Dead Mouse fans. Yeah, sure. And so, looking at uh, uh, porting that from from web to mobile, uh, which is a, a much more complex experience, I guess, than uh, a standard a standard subscription that you'd have on the on the other app. So, uh, would that have more uh, features uh, uh, for the standalone white label version? Um, in terms of the subscription, or the or in the... terms of the subscription, because I know you have some chat functionality and message boards and all sorts of stuff on there. Yes. <clears throat> so those features are very engaging, as you can imagine. Um, they're very interactive. They, uh, we did offer those features on his web version as right. well. Yeah. And, um, and what, was, what we saw, which was pretty amazing, is uh, a dwell time of 30 minutes on average of people experiencing the app, but also sitting in the chat room and not only chatting with Joel, Dead Mouse, but also uh, chatting with each other, like-minded fans of Dead Mouse. Yeah. And, um, and so for 30 minutes of dwell, is pretty, pretty high. And so what we're finding now is that the engagement is, is going to be uh, hopefully a lot higher with mobile because, as you know, it's, uh, if you have the mobile device, you're likely to be more interactive and more engaging in terms of chat functionality, as you mentioned, as well as maybe posting more on the, on the fan forums that, uh, that Dead Mouse is calling message boards. Um, so we did create those tools specifically that to design for mobile users. Um, and there's also a new feature that we added, which was to be able to integrate Joel's live streams embedded into the chat room right so you could actually watch joel streaming live and you could chat while you're watching him stream live in the studio for example yeah and and looking at uh, the kind of clients that you have for the uh, for the upfront uh, uh, app uh, you have a a number of different uh, type of people of of course i mentioned (coughs) actors you even have you know a new age guru guru uh deepak chopra on 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 the on the app so uh, how are you seeing the the inquiries that are coming in do you see a lot of uh, artists primarily or do you see a lot of other types of personalities that are looking at finding more more intimate ways of engaging with their audience. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's we're seeing all of the above. 
Um, I think for from our perspective, we anyone that is has uh, a certain level of influence that has a has a following or some fans or supporters. It could be an artist, like you mentioned. It could be a thought leader. It could be a musician. It could be a, a celebrity chef. It could be an athlete, or it could be a brand. And so right. uh, we feel that uh, that this 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 service is it could be available and useful for all types of. Uh, all, all types of influencers. Um, we definitely see the the biggest opportunity in the artist slash musician space um, because we feel that they're having uh, more challenging times to monetize yep. their content, um, both through digital uh, downloads as well as streaming services. And so this just gives them another way to to perhaps like put out unreleased music, to put out um, you know some backstage photos and videos that no one else would see, right. um, and really just click. And our end goal is really to close that gap between the fans and the artists. And we feel that this is the best way to do so. EDM electronic music artists are are a very big target for us because um, they're always producing content, right. and and people are in many ways want access to them and are willing to spend money for access. Um, and this is a good way to access uh, a, a, a DJ like that else. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, of course, it puts the pressure on for artists that are doing this to produce uh, uh, content on a regular basis, which uh, is definitely a challenge in itself. <laughs> Very good point. Definitely. And, and from our point of view, we've created some really good publishing tools that are very easy to use. Um, so Dead Deadmau5 and other artists will have uh, a, a publishing platform that really that's mobile and web like a CMS. And it's not only for Joel or Dead Mouse or other artists or influencers on our platform, but it's also for their teams. So yeah. their teams could have access to a web CMS and upload some amazing content they would they may capture backstage, for instance. That's awesome, and uh, uh, that sounds um, amazing. And uh, I'm sure uh, lots of the listeners of DMT are going to check out the app if they haven't already. And thanks so much for your time, Ray. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me on the show. And again, go and check out beupfront.com for more information on the company.